these people have been writing to the to the attorney general whenever there's delay in payment. Now the question is, why did the attorney general see it prudent to advise the finance secretary to pay these claims after delay because they have they have received many has received the letters, yet he cannot afford to tell them give us the acknowledgement of the area payment. What I see here, we have raised an issue. You have raised an issue. If you look at the debt payment, that we pay a lot of money. Uh, when we make the payment to the World Bank, they don't come back to say we, are, we have received. Because they have given us, we have the details, the, the payment authority, and the received message from the central bank. Uh, and we have copies for us to be able to verify if in the case of the World Bank they were to come back and say they did not receive. They normally, it is taken once they have not complained, they have received the money. But uh, for all those payments, I can uh, assure you, I think the reason why for this uh, particular one relating to the payment for the uh, lawyers, other than perhaps because of the link with the uh, the agro-leasing, uh, it is the general practice. What is important is on our part we have all the details and since we pay through the central bank, we have a very good information system that is maintained by the central bank so that in case the institution to which we are paying, they were to come back, we have all those records We show how the money was transferred and the saved messages. And if I take the case of like the IMF, we even have a code now which uh, the, we code the message such that it's only between us and them who would know. But they will not come back and say we have received. When they come back is if they have not received, immediately they will raise the, the, the information and let you know we have not received. And if say, the money may have been uh, either through the way the message was sent, gone into the wrong place, then we quickly raise uh, the issue with the bank and try to trace what could have happened. There is no doubt the money might have gone, but the, the, the communication, normally when we get here, we get some, at the annex, some letters of correspondence of requesting to have those, uh, those, those uh, acknowledgements, either by way of receipts or something else. But now here is a case that you only send money and you don't get the reply from, from those ones. Even Mpesa, when you send money in Mpesa, they reply you back. They say it, you have <laughs> you have paid money to so and so. But there is a money that you are, the AG tells you to pay in that account. And you pay the money in that account and there's nothing again that you are receiving from there. The what they say there is no evidence that the procurement rules were followed. You are talking about a situation where the matter uh, under discussion was of course um, um, uh, an issue of um, an alleged fraud and yet again the lawyers who were supposed to follow have been paid in a suspe suspicious manner again. Is this thing like uh, coming back again to get into the system? No, usually the Attorney General in excess of his constitutional uh, mandate he he, he he'll deal with this uh, alone. Chairman, we are being told that uh, it was a unilateral decision by the Attorney General, unilateral. I don't think I would like to say that it was a unilateral decision, because there are so many decisions that the Attorney General makes in the exercise of his constitutional mandate. And No, uh, but what is constitutional in terms of uh, procurement of uh, services? Where does he derive such unilateral powers? The Constitution, both the current and the former, provides, uh, gives a mandate uh, to the Attorney General to make certain decisions. And uh, yeah, uh, he, he has been making those decisions. The status of agro raising cases. Yes, yes. yes. Well, Chair, the, the cases are still on because I don't think it has been uh, fully concluded. So it is a matter of which we know in terms of uh, legal expenses we are still about to continue meeting until they are fully resolved, isn't it? 
some of the cases are pending before in the International Court of Arbitration, others are pending in uh, some courts in uh, Geneva, others in London, and uh, so they are ongoing. They are in various stages of, uh, of uh, prosecution, and uh, right at the moment I will not tell you exactly where, uh, because like I said, I only came into this matter, you know, yesterday.